Hi guys, my name is Bella. Welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to be talking about chastity slaves, what kinds of chastity slaves there are, and some instructions for each one of them. So first of all, what is a chastity slave? It is a man who is locked up in a chastity cage and he's not able to experience pleasure the way he would want to experience it or the way he could experience it if he was not locked in a chastity device right obviously so the first chastity slave that we have to talk about is the sissy chastity slave now why do sissies wear a chastity cage okay that's what we have to talk about as well number one point is to be more feminized right they just don't want to have a thing sticking out of there you know they just want to minimize the volume right and also it aids in shrinking and um uh, it aids with identifying less and less as a man right so for sissies there is a, a really um not actually such a big variety of chastity cages but there is um some that are pink colored and i really recommend for all my sissies to get a pink colored chastity uh, cage and one really great thing that a lot of my sissies are doing is that they like to decorate it with some glitter some stickers you know just put something really cute on it all of them are having so much fun with it and it's so fun to just see uh, um my sissy chastity slaves um in their chastity wise they always put like extra effort so it's really cute and my recommendation for a sissy chastity slave is to wear this chastity especially when they are wearing their special outfits okay so uh with their maid outfits with their lingerie so it like you know it all sits there and doesn't stick out or anything um yeah, you don't want to have a thing sticking out. Get that chastity. Get it. <laughs> and um, it all depends on your level of um, how much you have been trained to be in a chastity. Because then I also recommend um, wearing the cage throughout the day to kind of like help with the shrinking more and more. But I understand that it's not really comfortable for a lot of people to wear it like 24-7. But you know... Um, especially during the humiliation sessions when they're in the mood i always recommend to wear the chastity device like at all times if you're a sissy all right so number two we have a chastity slave who is not a sissy but he has been trained or is being trained by a mistress or master or whoever to kind of like he's basically being controlled okay he's being controlled by another by the dom, right? And his pleasure is in the hands of somebody else. And it's mostly with the intention of building obedience, um, improving their service, um, and building also um, discipline, and just basically letting them know they cannot do it at any point they want all right and number three is the chastity slaves that use this use the chastity for themselves to kind of aid themselves uh, with their jerk off addiction okay there's a lot of you guys too so uh, yeah if you're being controlled by another master or mistress i really recommend the two ask for clear um, instructions on when to wear the chastity cage and when they can take it off and every time um, I think all of you guys have to be supervised when you take it off so uh, make sure to always ask for permission and also be supervised um, uh, and controlled have your activities supervised and controlled when your cage is off by your mistress and your master so um request that from your mistress to have a clear schedule right and also 
make sure to let them know about your needs like how often you need it and how how much you can commit to it because there are some slaves you know they're only into it when they are in the mood okay once they're out of the mood they're like oh i don't want to use this chastity you know and it's just like what's the point you know like i get it all right there's people who only do this um as a part of their fantasy but um there is also full-time slaves who should definitely abide by the rules um created by their mistress okay so but you know each their own um yeah i usually like to train my slaves to um you know wear it as much as possible especially if they want to be full-time slaves but yeah <laughs> and also if you are only wearing it when you're in the mood that just like yeah, like are you really a slave you know like are you i don't know like you should ask yourself that first and the number three category as i was already mentioning is the people who are using that for themselves to help with their jerk of addiction and for you i really really recommend kind of, it's kind of gonna work like an addiction you know like um you know when you have a smoking addiction like you just have to lower the doses and then just completely stop right like don't go all in from the start okay that's what i don't recommend because you're gonna get really irritated and depressed and whatnot i mean unless that's your that's your goal then i don't recommend doing that just try to uh prolong the time when you are wearing it and allow yourself some release as well okay because um if you have been used to certain schedule when you're doing it then like all of a sudden you're going to just cut it it's just not gonna do the job right so make sure to give yourself some mercy <laughs> okay guys so but you know the more the better that's what i always say so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one bye